guys, my name is Alicia and I'm here today with my friend Emily. Today we have a very exciting thrift trip plan. Massive. We're actually <laughs> massive. We're actually hitting up four different thrift stores today. If you guys don't know, we're actually at the location here in Mississauga, the intersection Dixie and Dundas. It's actually pretty like well known, pretty famous in the thrifting community, I guess, for having these four different thrift stores on every corner. So currently we're at the Goodwill, but today we're also gonna be hitting up Value Village, Talese, and I think the Salvation Army. So huge, huge thrifting day today. Now, me and Emily can sometimes go a little bit crazy in the thrift store and <laughs> <All> like <day. laughs> spend way too long. So we're gonna be setting a one hour time limit in each thrift store, which is gonna be pretty quick actually. Mm -hmm. Like we're good. We're gonna have to zoom. Yeah, we're gonna have to be like pretty speedy, but so very exciting. Yeah, if you guys don't know who I am, basically I make thrifting videos every single week. So if you're looking for more thrifting content, you should definitely stick around and subscribe. I made a giant list of all the things I'm looking for. Yes. Because <laughs> I need to utilize this hour. Yeah, that's honestly so smart to have like a direct plan. Mm -hmm. I don't have a plan. As you guys know, I have a Depop and Poshmark shop, so I'm kind of always on the hunt for vintage items for my shops. But yeah, very excited. Never been here before, so it's gonna be really exciting. But anyways, let's go thrifting. Woo! You guys know me straight to the men's jeans and shorts. I already found these vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Love that tag. $9.29, honestly more expensive than I was expecting for Goodwill. Then look how cute this vintage skirt is. By Brody jeans. Very cute. Straight to the women's shorts and capris. Let's see what we can find. Okay, it's so interesting. I feel like most of the jeans are priced at $9.29. Whereas with Value Village, it kind of varies a little bit more. This one's $15.99 for some reason. But honestly, more on the expensive side. There is no tax, though, at this store, so that definitely helps. We've been here for probably half an hour now and me and Emily are finding that the prices are a little steeper than we were expecting. So unless I find anything like really, really cool, I might leave it behind. Also, we still have three other thrift stores to go to, so gotta keep that in mind. Hey, Emily, we only have 12 minutes left. Oh okay, yeah. Wait, do we have 12 minutes and then we try on? Yeah, I think okay. we're gonna give us our, ourselves extra time to like choose okay. what we want. Okay, because that, I can't make fast decisions. No, like I can't either. On the clock, no way. Absolutely not, absolutely not. Final stop is the dresses. Look, I got a pretty kind of good. Nice. Uh Time's up, so now me and Emily are gonna go through our carts and quickly decide what we're gonna get. Emily Smart, she dressed so that she could actually try shit on. <laughs> I think this might be big. Emily found this dress for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, look at the detail there. The tag, pretty sure it's vintage. Price is kind of expensive, but it's really, really cute. I feel like I have to get this. Cute. Also found this really cool vintage dress. So cute. It's a little expensive though. I'm not sure about this one. $9. I'm, I'm gonna think about this one. Not gonna get, but I needed to share because isn't this just the most like fairy core grunge dress you've ever seen? It's a vintage vest. Um, so cool. Love the pattern. Ah, so good. Only six bucks. I think I have to get it. Vintage jacket is so cool. I love the colors. Look at the tag. Vintage, of course. How much is this one? A little expensive, but it's really cute. Found this little beige skirt. It's actually brand new with tags. I think I'm gonna leave it behind though, because it's like $12, $13. Oh, you tie it like that. Emily tried it on. It's very cool. I'm not, it's not my vibe. Yeah, really adorable little yellow shorts, vintage shorts from Esprit actually. Not a bad price. 
actually in love with these shorts. Oh yeah, they're like actual fisherman shorts, but they're so cute. And cargos are like super in right now. So I think I have to get them. It's really cute though. Then I found these really cute pink gingham shorts. Oh, the tag's so cute. Seven bucks. Lastly, our vintage Tommy jeans that we saw before. This is not a dress. <laughs> it is really cute it is though. Cute, though. It would have been cute as a dress. Yeah, and we found brand new Levi's shorts. What the heck? It's my cart ready to check out. This is but my cart. It has one thing. <laughs> getting one thing. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, guys, first store down, and I'm kind of scared. I already found so many things and spent quite a bit of money. So, on to the next one. On to thrift store number two. I went straight to the men's jeans, obviously. And I already found these really cool vintage orange tab Levi's. A little pricey though, even with my 20% off coupon. Look how cool these ones are though. Wide leg raw hem, little patchwork moment. Not bad. How nice this vintage, I'm pretty sure it's vintage, Nike windbreaker is, but like for that price, no, 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 no. Like why is Valley Village gatekeeping this? Dude, look what I just found. <gasps> the most insane overalls that would actually fit. Only $4.99. In the cart, in the cart instantly. I just realized that some girl totally left her stash here because look at all these pieces. So, so good. Yes, yes. Um, why do I actually want this? And this freaking cool ass bear shirt. And this vintage sweater. Literally getting that all. I love these. If you couldn't tell. Not for that price though. <laughs> no. This haul is going to be so insane. I'm finding so many things. And this is only the second store. These incredible vintage jeans that Emily found for me. So cute. This is the dress. This is, I think this is really cute. Given cowgirl, like, little house on the prairie like dogs, in a cute way. It. it has pockets. Thrift store number two was a success. Such a success. Ah, I actually <laughs> too, got stuff this time. Too good, too good. <laughs> that is our next destination after lunch. Thrift store number three. Woo. Yo, this store is insane. I was thinking maybe I'll just find a couple more things, but my cart is insanely full and yeah, it's it's too good. And the prices here are actually so freaking good compared to everywhere else. I feel like I overpaid for everything else, to be honest. Like, look at these prices, $3.99 for shorts. You would never see that anywhere else. That's such a reasonable price. $5.99, $5.99, but honestly, so much of it is $3.99. Jeans, $8.99, not bad. Look how insane these are. Oh my gosh, I'm finding so much. Look at this top. It's like one shoulder with a little tie and it's vintage dynamite. It's so cool. Okay, so another hour's up. So once again, gonna sort through everything we found. This is like almost cute. Almost cute. You know what? 
Oh, oh my god. The zipper is like a little golf club. Oh, that's so cute. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about this color though. Emily found. So cute. Love it. It's vintage. I found this insanely cool vintage Blue Jays like championship shirt. I don't really know much about sports or these kind of things, but I feel like it'd be very valuable. It's also just really cool. Okay, like half of this stuff was in my cart, but I'm not gonna take it. Just cause I don't know, it wasn't, I already have so much to be honest, so. Okay, just finished off at the Salvation Army. Got a few more things, so we have one more thrift store left. Me and Emily <laughs> are literally being insane and we're deciding to do five thrift stores. So we got the Mission Thrift right here, which we've never been to and the Talese down here. So we're gonna speed run. We're gonna do these last ones real quick cause Lord knows we do not need any more. Yeah. Quick trip in the Mission Thrift. Found this really cute little Winnie the Pooh peg, only $1.95. Then I found these cool vintage Jordashi jeans, only $4.95, not bad. And then Emily found these really cool vintage dead stock Jonathan G striped shorts. A little steep though, not gonna lie. Walking out empty handed of Mission Thrift just was not really the vibe. I found a couple of good things, but I decided not to pick them up. So now let's go to Talese, the last thrift store for today. So I just realized that I've actually been to this store a long time ago. It's been a couple years. But my first impression back is it's kind of expensive. Like everything is pretty pricey. So funny, these are almost like the Jordashi ones I just saw at the other thrift store. These ones are $13. That is expensive. Like all of these skirts are so pretty. But why are they all $18? What? That is insane. Okay, this one's $6.99, but like, huh? For a skirt? No. Like, look how expensive the men's jeans are. 25, 25, 25. Like, why? 14, nothing special about these. Yeah, no. Okay, so walking out of Talese with absolutely nothing. But that's okay because we found so much stuff today. Okay. We just got in the car, we finished our crazy thrift trip of the day, and we just wanted to debrief on what our opinions of the thrift stores are, what our favorite ones are. I'm running out of space though, but okay, we're fast. what was your favorite one? The Salvation Army. Agreed. The Salvation Army was just best prices, like mm -hmm. insanely good prices, and tons of good vintage stuff. Like, so much stuff. It was amazing. And not too much. It was like big, but it wasn't like too big. Yeah, yeah. Second, probably Value Village, I'd mm -hmm. say, just because lots of selection, good range of prices. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for cheaper things, you can usually find them. Yeah. Talese, I don't know if Zero it's because- Zero out of ten. I don't know if it's because we're just really Stinky. tired. Everything's orange. The whole place is like horribly lit. The music's weird. I don't, I don't fuck with it. Mm -mm. It just wasn't it. Mission thrift. Zero out of ten. No. The Lit prices. Sleep, I have sleep paralysis The in prices there. were good, but just nothing caught my eye. And then Goodwill was like weirdly expensive, but. Yeah, shockingly. But I have to admit, it did have some pretty good stuff. Yeah, I'd give it like, it was the third best, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Definitely. But anyways, that is it for today's thrift trip. You guys are going to have to stick around until I get home to show you the haul. It is going to be insane. It, like, insanely massive. And we're about to get a sweet treat. Yes. So. <laughs> we deserve a sweet treat. A sweet treat. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm back from my massive, massive thrifting trip. And of course, I'm going to give you guys a haul and try on of everything that I ended up getting. It was such a fun thrifting trip. I mean, we were thrifting for so freaking long. But I'm so glad that I finally got to check out that spot and go go to every single thrift store that's there because now I know which ones I'm definitely going to go back to. But first off, we're going to start off with the first store that we went to, which was the Goodwill. I ended up spending $61.83 there, which was way more than I was expecting. And that got me seven different items, which means I spent about an average of $8.83 per item, which honestly was a little bit more than I was expecting for some reason. When I think of Goodwill, I think of, you know, better deals or like 
a little bit cheaper than Value Village, but honestly, it really wasn't. I think it's gonna be more expensive than Value Village, but we'll compare the average of Value Village once we get there. But first, <laughs> let me show you everything I got from Goodwill. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is this green dress right here. This is probably my favorite thing or one of my favorite things that I picked up on this entire trip. And also one of the few things that I'm actually gonna be keeping for myself because I am obsessed with this dress. It's just this beautiful sage green with this floral print throughout. It's more of a mini length with a square neck and it's a little bit more fitted. It also has this kind of like sheer mesh almost like material on top of the green, which just adds another cool layer and texture. And then probably the coolest part is the straps. They're just these really pretty little intricate thin stringy straps and I'm just obsessed with it. I think it fits me so, so well and I'm literally in love. That's why I'm keeping it. And I'm pretty sure it's vintage just telling from the tag, even though it doesn't say where it was made, but so, so good. And this dress ended up being $9.29. So not exactly cheap, but obviously still a good deal. Okay, the next thing that I picked up are just these vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. They're just in this really nice light wash blue and they definitely have more of a longer baggy fit, which is really in right now. And I honestly didn't realize that until I tried them on, but I really, really like the fit. I think they're gonna end up doing really well. And then of course they just have the classic Tommy Hilfiger patch logo on the back in this kind of leather material. So really, really nice. These also ended up being $9.29, which is a good deal for jeans, but honestly, I thought there were gonna be a bit more cheaper options at the Goodwill, but it seemed like the base price of jeans was $9.29. So that was kind of surprising, but still glad that I picked them up. Then next up and probably another one of my favorite finds of the trip are just these amazing, amazing black Levi's shorts that are actually dead stock. They're still brand new with the tags on and they're vintage. So such a cool find. Emily actually found these, so shout out to her. But if you guys didn't know, the kind of like longer cut, looser fitting shorts are super, super in right now. So. I think these are gonna sell pretty quickly. And the fact that they're dead stock just makes them so much cooler. Now these ones did cost me $15.99, which is definitely expensive for a pair of shorts, but I am very confident that even for that price, I'll be able to turn a pretty good profit. Then next up for shorts, I just picked up these ones. They're these cute little blue cargo shorts. They're by the brand Hook and Tackle Outfitter. So these are definitely like authentic little fisherman shorts, but I think they're so cute. Cargos are another style that have been super popular lately so i thought i'd pick them up i especially love the pockets in the front like they just have these cool little hoops on them that i thought was kind of interesting the little patch on the back i don't know i thought they were unique and these ones ended up being seven dollars and 49 cents so honestly not a bad price for shorts then next up the only pair of shoes i ended up getting on this trip are just these little blue tevas tevas are another thing that has been quite popular the last couple of years i even have a pair myself i love them and I've actually sold a pair in the past. So when I saw these ones for $2.99, I was like, I definitely need to pick them up. They were actually in the kid section, but they are in fact a woman size six. So that's why they were priced so cheaply. And they're in amazing condition. I love the pattern on the straps and the blue. I feel like it's pretty classic. Someone's definitely going to pick these up and love them. Then next up, I picked up this little kind of 90s fleecy vest. The pattern just really stood out to me and I thought it was so freaking cool. It's actually really, really soft to the touch too. So I really like that as well. And of course it's vintage made in Canada. The tag's actually really cool. It says Avon Sportswear Wear and Tear. Pride in the making Toronto, Canada. So very, very cool. And for $6.29, I was like, you know what? Might as well. And then the last thing that I ended up picking up from the Goodwill is just this adorable little raincoat. It's just this really cute light kind of red that just has these nice pockets at the front and actually kind of like cinches in at the waist, which is really nice. It zips at the front and then it just has this really nice kind of plaid inner lining that you can see just peeking out on the hood, which really, really sold me on this piece. And of course, once again, it was vintage made in Canada. The tag is so adorable, so I had to pick it up. This is another piece that is definitely Definitely one of my favorites and I fell even more in love with when I tried it on. I just think it's so adorable. And this item ended up being $10.49. So not a bad price for a jacket. Okay, so quickly moving right along to the next store we went to, which was Value Village, a classic, of course. I ended up spending $38.94 there, so not too bad. And that actually got me six different items, meaning that it averaged out to about $6.49 per item, which is honestly amazing, especially for Value Village. I did have a coupon, but still, like, that price was really, really good and, like, 
in comparison to the Goodwill, technically cheaper, which honestly really surprised me. But the first item I picked up is just this dress. It's just this really beautiful kind of light and dark blue flowy dress with these floral print throughout. And then it's just got spaghetti straps with this beautiful kind of ruffling detail on the bust, which really sold me on it. And it is by my favorite vintage dress brand, Jessica. So obviously I had to pick it up. I just thought it was so pretty, perfect for summer. After the discount and before taxes, it was only $8.79. So great price for a dress. Then next up, I found a couple t-shirts. These were actually part of that little stash that I found. So shout out to the girl, whoever left all those behind. Thank you because I took home quite a few pieces. The first one is just this really cool dark green bear and animal graphic t-shirt. I honestly love picking up anything with animals on it. So this was perfect. Just a classic cool tee. And this one ended up being only $3.19. So honestly a great deal considering sometimes Valley Village just really ups the price of their t-shirts for no reason. <laughs> then the next t-shirt I ended up getting is just this one, this My Chemical Romance t-shirt. If you guys don't know, I'm very much into like pop punk music and I obviously love My Chemical Romance. I'm actually seeing them finally live in concert in September, I think? August, September, sometime in the fall. So when I saw this, I was kind of like, that would be fun. Since I don't have a My Chemical Romance t-shirt, so I thought it'd be cool to wear to the concert. It's from like the black parade era and then it just has a list of all the songs on the back which i thought was really cool it definitely fits me a little bit tighter than i ideally would want for a band t-shirt so i am kind of debating selling it but it was only four dollars and 79 cents so super good deal then next up i picked up this really cool vintage las vegas crew neck it's just in this really nice bright blue color and then has this kind of nice faded graphic that says Las Vegas Paradise Nevada with this cool little cactus kind of graphic on it, which I thought was really cool. And it is actually vintage made in USA, which of course is part of the reason why I got it. And it ended up being only six bucks, so can't go wrong with that. Then next up, I picked up these really cute little Y2K shorts. They are by the brand Liquid Jeans. Gotta love that label inside. And they're just this kind of like mid-wash color of blue. Short shorts with the cutest little dragonfly print on the front. It's kind of like all glittery and stuff. Very, very Y2K. And then I just really love the pockets on the back. I feel like the stitching is just very feels very vintage because they are in fact made in Canada. So they are a truly vintage piece, but I am guessing they're closer to the Y2K era, but super, super cute. Then the last thing that I picked up from the Value Village is actually just these overalls. These were such a good find. I'm like kind of obsessed with overalls and I get so excited when I find them at the thrift store, but they're really cool. They're by this brand Octane Basic Denim Jeanswear. And they're just in this kind of like lighter wash blue in a carpenter style. So they have a lot of like cool pockets on the side the only thing about these is that they're at such an awkward length like i feel like they're almost like a capri length which is kind of weird and originally i was just going to kind of like cut them into a proper shorts length and do like a little hem but honestly when i tried them on for the try on photos <laughs> i feel like the length could be cool they almost look like that like really long jorts kind of style that's really in right now very like skater vibes so honestly, I might keep them like this and whoever purchases them can choose to cut them if they want because I feel like the length does kind of make them unique. And these ended up only being $3.99, which is like literally mind blowing. I feel like they always price the overall so low at Value Village. So thank God, because that makes me very happy. And then guys, the very last store that I picked some stuff up from was the Salvation Army, where I ended up spending $23.96, which got me four different items meaning that each item came out to about $5.99 each, which ends up being the cheapest average out of all of the stores that I went to, which totally makes sense because the prices in there were so freaking good. This is definitely one of the stores that I do plan on coming back to for sure. But the first thing that I ended up picking up from there are just these really cool vintage jeans. They're like this darker blue acid wash, which is really cool. I actually have a pair that's like very similar to them, but they have the coolest kind of pocket detailing with this front seam going all the way down the front. They're definitely more of a tapered leg and are a little bit more cropped. 
but my favorite part of course is this cute little patch on the back i am such a sucker for details like these anytime i see denim with like some sort of patch like this i'm always gonna pick it up but it's really cute it just has this little mountain graphic that says contender on it so super super cute and for only nine bucks had to get it then next up i just got this pair of vintage shorts i just thought these were really cute they're in this kind of darker blue wash with a raw cutoff hem and then they just have little pleats on both the front and the back which i thought was cute complete with this cool patch detailing on the back and these kind of like little button flap pockets so i thought these were super cute and like literally all the shorts there were only 3.99 including these which is like such an amazing deal so once again literally just like couldn't pass these up then the next thing that i picked up is just this cute little blue kind of athletic skirt. I personally love skirts because they're just so much easier to wear than skirts. And this is probably one of the only other items that I am keeping for myself as well. But it's basically just this navy blue skirt with this kind of little button and flap detail on the front, pockets on the sides, and then the back is just a complete kind of skirt. So super cute. This is by the brand Avia, which I actually see at the thrift store quite a lot. Like I feel like you can always find one of these. And once again, for only $3.99. I was like, why freaking not? And then guys, the very last thing that I picked up on this crazy thrift trip is just this really cool Blue Jays World Champions t-shirt. <laughs> now, honestly, I don't know anything about sports and Emily's actually the one who picked this up for me. And after examining it, we were, we were both thinking like, yeah, this definitely has to be valuable, right? Like it's vintage made in USA. It's from 1992. It's got the really nice embroidery on the front and the sticker, which I believe, you know, indicates that it's some sort of like collector's item. So if you guys know anything about this, please let me know. I did a little bit of research on eBay and I kind of saw something comparable that was selling for a decent price. So it does seem like a pretty valuable item. But yeah, if you know anything about it, definitely let me know. But anyways, guys, that concludes my crazy thrift trip at Toronto's basically epicenter of thrifting. Of course, if there's anything that you saw that you might be interested in, definitely check out my Instagram, Depop and Poshmark Shops, because basically everything you saw will be listed there. Definitely let me know what your favorite piece was in the comments below. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week.